come here, get off. So, okay, y'all, here's the deal. Here at the turn on, we are finished with season one. Hey. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey. I'm doing that cool kid get dance where you do like this. Anyway. Uh, okay. So we're finished with season one. We're loading for season two. But look, y'all, a bitch is tired. Mm. I'm a fucking tired. <laughs> so in the meantime, in between time, we are going to give you guys what we call a little quickie. Yeah, you know? we're not going to leave y'all out here. We ain't going to leave y'all hanging with a dry dick or a dry pussy. What's so. the non-gender uh, version of that? A dry area. We don't leave y'all out. We don't, I mean, everybody got an ass. We don't leave out with a dry bussy. Yes. Everybody got a bussy, yes. right? <laughs> we only out here with a dry bussy. So we are recording and going to give to you guys each week a little quickie, mm-hmm. which is a little, a little taste, mm, a, little, a taste. little taste of something to tide you over. Until we come back for season two. When do we come back? January 1st. Like hey. a motherfucker. <laughs> new like year. Motherfucker. New season. Hey. Hey. I'm dancing. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been drinking all morning She long. really has. I am Stone Cold Sober. We'll see how this goes. Okay. So. January 1, January 2020. January 1, 2020. We'll be back in this bitch. Mm-hmm. With full episodes. Full length new books, episodes. New interviews. All that. Lots of hot shit coming for mm-hmm. you. Spitting hot fire. Spitting hot fire. On this mic. Like <laughs> Dylan. 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 <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So, for our first quickie, as y'all know, Carrie and I are bottom bitches. Mm-hmm. And I think it would be interesting for y'all to, like, you know, listen to us interview one another. Yes. So we, really, we didn't really tell y'all a lot about ourselves when we started the show, I feel like. Did we tell the Tybo tape story? The who? Tybo no, tape. I don't think so. Okay, so. This Kim is Ria sidebar before we get into it. <laughs> and someone else, you know who you are. Okay, Shout out though. to you. Um, We all went to school together. Mm-hmm. And we were all interested in a particular sorority. And we see each other at programs. And so mm-hmm. we were like, you know what? I like you. We should be friends because we're going to be lying That's sisters. not what happened. Somebody told us we needed to know each other. I was other. trying to tell the sanitized story. <laughs> but anyway, so. That's not illegal. We needed to be friends. <laughs> we knew we needed to be friends because we was going to be lying sisters. So they said, hey, y'all need to be friends. Mm-hmm. So we were like, okay, how does any other young lady in 19, no, no in 2001, become friends yeah. with another young lady? You show up at her dorm room with a VHS tape of Tybo. Of Billy Blaze's Tybo. <laughs> so that you can work on your body for homecoming. Mm-hmm. So. He was doing high kicks and It all started punches. with a Tybo tape. Mm-hmm. And the two of us plus another one who will always stay special in our mm-hmm. heart. And we still together. We still kicking it high. Once it, back then it was for like. Strong abs. Now we kicking to have her dick. Dicks, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm like so drunk. Okay. So mm-hmm. we're going to interview one another. Um, if y'all have more questions that you'd like for us to answer, we'll probably do a round two of this. But these are the questions that we came up with. So first question, Kenria. Yes. If you were on, so let me say, I came up with most of these questions. Yeah, so they you are did. Very, very Erica <laughs> questions. So, Kimria, if you were on a Real Housewives franchise, what would be your tagline? Oh, God. Uh, okay. So, remember when I did, it's something that I actually say about myself because it's true. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm, there's two. Okay. There's the totally appropriate for one of those shows, and then there's the, uh, ooh, I I read okay. version. Uh huh. So the first one is I'm an Aries from Cleveland. The fuck, what the fuck am I supposed to be scared of? <laughs> <laughs> Which is something Which is that so I say because, <laughs> because like I clearly remember nights in New York City where Carrie has like 
popped off. Like Kimberly's nickname is Killer Can for, for a reason. reason. Okay. Yeah. So that's accurate. And that's something that I've said during many book signings when people have asked me dumb shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> And then I think the the sanitized version, the one that it, not sanitized, but the one that's on my intention board mm-hmm. right now, is a, a quote from Audre Lorde, and is "I am deliberate and afraid of nothing." I love it. Yeah. Okay, so you say that, and I have. What two. was your yes? <laughs> Both of mine come from the great guru Trina. <laughs> the first one is, and imagine me in like a great flowing robe. And then I flip around and toss my you toss your non-existent hair. hair. Yes. And I look in the camera and I say, I'd probably fuck your daddy if your mammy wouldn't play a Hayden. Oh my God. <laughs> the accuracy. <laughs> the fucking accuracy. And then the next one, <laughs> same situation. I flip around and I say, 10 in the face, slim in the waist. <laughs> Fat in the ass. Do you want to taste? Oh my god! Bitch is coughing. My bad. <laughs> Sorry, it was funny. So yeah, like I, you know, my foundation is on the patron saint Trina. Who yeah, her it is and Audrey strong... Lord are like the two like, like the patron saints of patron this show. Patron saints of the eternal one. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. Yeah, that works. I'm going to ask you the next one. Okay. What does a perfect date look like for you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I enjoy experiences. Mm. So, well, first I enjoy food. So feed a bitch. Yes. Like we got to have good food. We got to have good drink. But then I want to like do something. So it could be like a concert or a hike i mean it don't really matter i like it hike bitch yeah i I mean you do like doing yeah i like doing shit like white women in patagonia shit yeah but then i'd be out there like (laughs) blasting train out my backpack oh my god did you see this fucking bitch and she kept singing this song about like asses and pussies and juicy twats that would be me so yeah it would definitely be like it would have to include food liquor and activity Mm mm-hmm but not like anything that jumbles my gut too much because yeah, I definitely enjoy it. I am supposed to be staying away from dairy, but it would probably involve like dairy and liquor. So I need something that's going to not make too much of an emulsion. Yeah, the stay away from the cheese, Lordy. But nonetheless, it would have to be like wine, food, activity. I like you? it. So I like to get a little dressed, you know. Mm-hmm. You saw me in what shorts and a t-shirt the other day, and you was like, "Bitch, I don't think I've ever seen you dressed like this." Oh my this. god, she looked like a homeless woman. I was like, and and the thing is, it was some shit. That, I was like, tired, but it was some shit that normal people wear. Like it was like a family reunion t-shirt mm-hmm. and, and some like, like big, huge gray and shorts some, like, with a drawstring, yeah. which is literally my. Do I have? I have a variation of that one yeah. right now. However, for Kimberly, I was like. <laughs> This bitch is going through some shit, and I need to have an interview. I took a nap on the couch. I was tired because we had just finished recording. I didn't even know you own family reunion shirts. I thought when they gave out family reunion shirts to your family reunion, you were like, you know what? No, I prefer a screen print holographic. I literally keep them button. just to sleep in, and only to sleep in when I'm by myself because I sleep naked when I have a partner in the bed. Oh, yeah, fancy. I do. Nasty. Um, so I want to go somewhere. It doesn't even have to be, you know, I wear sequins in the daytime. So (laughs) I just like to dress. Uh So part of it is being with somebody who is not intimidated by the fact that I'm probably going to have on like some sequin, a a crop, sequin crop top, which is something that I own. Yeah. Um, and then also, but I also like to be comfortable. So Mm -hmm. something cute and flat that is not going to have me all fucked up. So I'm not thinking about going home. flat. Okay. Yes. And I like to eat, so I want to go somewhere where I can get something that's not meat, that is delicious. Mm -hmm. And I have like three quarters of a glass of champagne or a cider beer, because you know more than that, and a bitch is sleep. I just can't drink no more. I'm still fucking. Oh, yeah, no. Well, you know, sometimes I fall asleep, but whatever. uh Then I just wake up and fuck later. It's fine. That's another part of the date. I would like to have sex on this date. If it Mm -hmm. goes well, then that's a part of that. And then it really varies. I like to switch it up. So it could be a movie. I fucking love movies. Like across the board, it's one of my favorite things to do with somebody who I know already. You can't really do movies with a new person because then y'all don't. I mean, I do movies because that's. 
You do movies with kind of when I force you to go to movies with me. Like I I have this guy that I'm dating and I actually really like him and he loves movies. Mm -hmm. And so we watch movies together. Right. And I do it for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of the movies are good, but I'm just like. It's not your natural. Because I'm like looking every week. Yeah. Like what's what's coming out? What can we go see? Yeah, exactly. And if we're not out, then we're finding one in the house to watch. I like a good movie. But I've also had a lot of fun go-kart racing and what else have I done that was fun? Oh, doing them sip and paint things. So is this something new that you've learned that you like to do now that you're like dating or is this a, you Uh, knew that this was in you the whole time? I mean, I think it kind of depended because when I was dating before I was married, it was like, it was New York. So it was mostly like going out to eat and walking around the city and then I was with broke niggas. So, you know, we was... (laughs) Walking through the park, having a picnic, which is also fun. I just like doing shit. It don't really matter to me. Honestly, it's more about the person who I'm with. Because I can be literally sitting around in a robe watching fucking Mad Men. Mm -hmm. And that's fun as hell. It's just that the person is not boring. So, yeah. That's a long ass answer. No, it's fine. Because I added a lot to your answer, too. (laughs) Okay, so... I always say, I'm going to tell you how I came up with this question. Mm. So I've not really, I've dated like one white guy. I might have fucked a few white guys. Mm. But I believe that, you know how like, I don't want to make sweeping stereotypes about races. But you finna? But yeah, I am about yeah. to. So, you know, just <laughs> ignorance alert. <laughs> um, So, you know how like, if you go to the Olympics and you look at like, the Olympics and you see the last 10 years who's won gold medals in basketball. Most of the people holding gold medals in basketball are probably black men, right? Yeah, I think that's accurate. If you went to the pussy eating Olympics Mm -hmm. and saw who held gold medals, Mm -hmm. most of the people would be white men. Really? I've never had my pussy ate by a white person. I'm sorry, y'all can't see me. I literally like, was like, <laughs> what? Yeah, I would think that like most of the gold medal winners would be white men. Not mm. saying that black men aren't good at it. Not saying that they have it. Maybe it's a thing of access. Y'all didn't grow up with pussy <laughs> and tools in, in your communities as a kid. But nonetheless, like, yeah, mm. white man, Olympic level. There are there are black men that definitely are like the Simone Biles of pussy. Like, woo, you really cut through the. You really cut, cut through, through the, uh, the, the chaff, the, the chaff. Yeah, I was about to say the chaff. I'm not sure that you know I'm making up work. You really cut through the wheat. But um, yeah, wait a minute. So mm-hmm. if you were to go gold. For a sexual gold, act? No. If oh, you were to go gold. Because I got gold, that one. That's dick sucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fantastic at it. So if the ordinary Olympics were held today, uh-huh. ordinary Olympics 2019, like DC, like not work stuff, like shit around just the house, whatever, like bitch. ordinary Olympics, what would you go gold in? I don't know if it's not work. I'm a fucking workaholic. Like well, what? What? What would you I go can, gold in? Oh, listen, I can edit like nobody's motherfucking business. Which I make everything better that I touch. If you have you, if you have received anything via. <laughs> Mail, text message, fucking carrier pigeon by Erica in the last, how long have we known? 20 years? Yeah, just about. Motherfucker, Camria has edited it. Yeah. Period, I'm point blank. Fucking amazing at editing everything. And she's good at it. She's quick. Yeah, that's my shit. I was trying to think of like a household task, but honestly, I mean, yeah, probably I laundry because I stay doing laundry, but then I don't fold no, it. You don't like it. You so, know, no, you wouldn't go. Mm-mm. Yeah. Like right now, my dryer so, has I'd like be, three loads of laundry of stuff in it because be it was on my bed. Laundry. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. No, my shit's not folded. I just stuffed it household back in the dryer Olympics, so I could definitely use my be furniture like for sex. Fucking, if, if it was household Olympics, I'd definitely be like the fucking Russia of gymnastics. Yes, like would. I'd be like high high stakes that's real shit but like just one event that i would be like fucking gold Mm. in would just be in finding efficiencies like Mm -hmm. people come to me and be like i have this problem Mm -hmm. how can i make it easier faster more economical yeah like how can i make this easier for me how can i make it faster how can i reduce the stress and that's what i do Mm -hmm. like finding efficiencies bitch i go gold yeah if we want to drill down nigga Making a, a <laughs> list, a fucking spreadsheet, yes. a timeline. 
I'm fucking gold at that. Like I enjoy, I enjoy rigidity, huh. which is probably why I like getting, like, <laughs> you know, restraints and shit mm-hmm. during sex. Interesting. Yeah, I enjoy rigidity. Okay, okay. I do not. That's kind of gross, but okay. <laughs> I mean that's not gross. No, it's not at all. But yeah, okay, your turn. Sure. So. What was your favorite food as a kid? <laughs> so, uh, looking back, I think my favorite food as a kid was my mama's fried pork chops. Because hmm. she bought them cheap ass, thin ass pork chops. You know, I don't know none about just, pork chops. Oh my God. And she just fucking bread them and fry them. And for some reason, I can taste that mm. shit right now. And maybe because I haven't had it in a while and now I'm drinking and I might, might start crying because I'm in my feelings about missing my mama. Yeah. But like, my mama's fried pork chops. It was just a random, like, let me pull these motherfucking mm-hmm. pork chops out and fry them. She bread them and just mm. fucking sprinkle some Lowry's on it, probably. <laughs> It was probably some Murray's or whatever the St. Louis, what was it? Pete's Market, which is the equivalent of uh, Murray's in St. Louis. I don't even know what Murray's is. You don't know because you ain't eat meat. Murray's was like on 8th Street and it was, I don't know if Murray's is still open. It was like this like hood supermarket. Hmm. But anyway, it was just my mama's pork chops, my Hmm. mama's fried pork chops. They were so good. I did not know until I moved out here that people eat applesauce with pork chops. I was like, that's, that's some not white, people, white shit. people shit. Yeah. That's definitely some white people shit. We would have pork chops and craft macaroni and cheese hmm. and whatever canned vegetable was. Canned vegetables. Ugh. Canned vegetable du jour. Yeah. But um, my mom was fried pork chops. And hmm. I don't even think that it was like, if you asked me as a kid, was that my favorite? I probably wouldn't have been like, that was my favorite. But in hindsight. But like in hindsight, yeah. whenever them fried pork chops came out, them was my motherfucking hmm. shits. What about you? Mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no story, bitch. I just like mashed potatoes. And that is all you need. Yeah. A good carb. Well, and so the next question is, what's your favorite now? And honestly, it's just carbs. (laughs) (laughs) I can't pick one. I mean, so, you know, I bake a lot. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to bake less because I eat it. Mm -hmm. Um, But lemon cake. I got my grandmother's lemon cake recipe finally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lemon cake, lemon bars. I finally found a really good recipe for that. Mm -hmm. I like lemon. Yeah, yeah, you're a sweet little tart. Mm, I make a who you are in your yellow. It's true. I, yes, as I rock my crop sweatshirt. Um, ooh, and apple pies. Those Bitch, are my apple, apple pies. Pie. Bitch, you ain't making apple pie last year. I did make apple pie last year. But now year. that we're closer, I can actually get some. Exactly, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna make a few of them. So I'll make one for y'all. And Bitch, don't make one for me. I'll just come upstairs and get some because I'm not gonna. Well, eat. No, I'll make it for your whole house. They ain't gonna eat it enough. <laughs> So you're going to yeah. eat it before yeah, they get like, to it because they don't know how good it is. I don't need to eat three quarters yeah. of apple pie. Um, yeah. So I think right now, I think my favorite food is like homemade fried chicken. Hmm. And I think it's, it's So still, that you make. Well, some, something that somebody, like they gotta not be Popeye's, somebody, okay. but like somebody's mama got some chicken, thawed it out, fried it, <laughs> sprung some, well, Got some chicken, spring some lorries, mm-hmm. bread into some regular and fried I don't that need shit that hard. double battered yeah, dip yeah. shit. No, just fucking fried chicken. Mm-hmm. And I think it goes back to the pork chops. It's just that I ain't trying to eat pork like that. I mean, I fuck up some pork, but I ain't really eating pork chops mm-hmm. like that. But yeah, just some homemade fried chicken mm. with some good ass hot sauce. Okay. I like and it. I feel like every time I go out and I get fried chicken, I'm chasing like homemade fried chicken. It's mm-hmm. like, bitch, you should just fucking. But is it ever? I'm home. about to say, is that ever as good as no. just? No, and I should probably just be frying chicken at home, but I shouldn't. But be how often do you? Yeah, I'm gonna say, do you have, like? Because one of my favorites is. Daddy. Oh yeah, you do. But who wants to fry chicken at home? They ain't got fucking fried chicken grease. <laughs> like, you understand? I mean, there's that. Uh, mm-hmm. Like my kid requests like fried fish and spaghetti. Cause yeah, because it's Midwest. like, oh, maybe we'll fry some fish this week. We're going to put a pin in that. I'll fry some fish this week. You make okay. some pasta and we'll Bam. feed the kids. All right. All right. So when you were a kid, what seemed like the best thing about being an adult? When you were a kid, like what was this like when mm-hmm. I'm an adult? 
I'm a do. Bam. I mean, honestly, I think it was just this general, like, I get to do whatever the fuck I want to do. Like, the mm-hmm. idea that somehow as an adult that that you have no, no, not nobody boundaries, but like, can't nobody, nobody tell, tell me, me shit. Nothing. Yeah. You know I think that's why them kids take that old town <laughs> Cause that's road, exactly though. how they, they want to feel that way. And I think that that was what I thought adulthood was going to be, but I ain't realized. Till Sally Mel- may tell you what the exactly. fuck you're supposed to do. Till your job tell you what the fuck you're supposed to do. You got way, like when you were kids, you just have like your guardians and your teachers telling you what to do. But now, God damn. Bruh, like that's alone. why I enjoy the idea of being a submissive. <laughs> like, yeah. tell me what to do, so I ain't got to worry about nothing else. I don't like people telling me what to do. It is one of my biggest peas. So mm-hmm. that and passive aggressiveness. Okay, so what? take it a step further. What's your favorite thing about adulthood now that you're an adult? Probably that I do what I want, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if you had to like name like one thing that's like, oh, this remi- this makes me feel like an adult, what would it be? Probably leaving out of my house like in the middle of the night, like to go fuck or like, you know, yeah. like mm-hmm. being like, mm, I'm going to go do this right now at a, at a time, especially like if I don't have my kids. So it really is. There's no accountability. Yeah. Like I just fucking go. Yeah. And if it's not with a stranger, so I don't have to like send my location to you so I can legitimately <laughs> <laughs> just leave on my own. And I ain't got to tell nobody where the fuck I'm going and mm-hmm. I just go do it. And it, like it's it's dessert in the middle of the night or it's, you know, getting some head yeah. in the middle, whatever the fuck. Like, I feel yeah. like those are the moments when I'm like, yeah, yeah, I ain't got no ain't nobody looking over my shoulder because I hate people looking over my shoulder. This is yeah. why I work at home. True. I'm not built for that. Okay, so for me, it is, I don't know, it sounds so fucking simple, but I like cool air, but I also like fresh air. Mm. So I will oh. turn up the AC high as hell in my car and roll down the window. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. That's Jeep, another. I'll take the top off and fucking have the AC yes. on. And I'd be riding like, you know what, mama? Suck it. Yes. Because <laughs> I got the AC on and the windows down. That's a great one. And I do that shit. And I do. I feel like such a fucking autonomous adult. And then, you know, my music is always loud and ignorant. Ignorant. Yeah. It's it's a beautiful thing. Okay. Cool. All right. What you got for me? Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. What is your favorite random fact about me? Oh, right now I'm sitting here trying to think. What's my favorite random? Ooh, I got it. <laughs> so here's the thing. Like, and that now I've been drinking, and I might actually cry. Like, oh, I, mine ain't sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we think it was sweet one. No, okay. don't even, don't even. No, the thing is, like, Kimberly is just like, I look at you, and like, so let me just say, like, when I think about, and this goes back to like therapy and all this shit, but I think about like who I was as a dirty little kid. And I think like, I am fucking like, I'm living like a fabulous fucking Mm. life. I am blessed to have the people in my life that I have in my life. And so I look at you as my best friend. I'm like, yo, this bitch, my best friend. (laughs) She let me in on all her shit. Like, and so it's just like, I just think you are a dope ass person all around and I feel blessed to for you to let me in on that. Oh. And that's that's actually a big deal because you know I don't fuck with most people. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, since hair. (laughs) Gotcha, bitch. (laughs) No, but I mean I just feel like it I just feel really blessed to have the people in my life, but bigger than that, like have you as like my best friend. Cause I think you are really like I'd sit back and think about like the things you have done. I'll be bragging on you like you like I'm your like I gave birth to you. Mm -hmm. And so it's just really fucking dope to like have you in my life but also to for you to let me in your life and so i'm just like yo like this bitch is fucking amazing so i guess i mean not even a random fact but just the fact that you're an accomplished author you've written so many books like this bitch be on tv like i be sending clips of my family like yo when she was here i was watching her daughter i helped her pick out that shirt Mm. so yeah not necessarily a random fact but just the fact that you have and then knowing you so well and seeing where you've come from, yeah. like, it's just like, yo, like, this is my bitch. Like, this is my bitch. 
So yeah, that's my favorite random fact that you let that's me hear. Very sweet, right? Yeah. So okay, and and now here comes Kiria with some ignorance. I know my shit ain't <laughs> sweet at all, but thank you. That's amazing. Erica is also dope. We only do see. I feel like. That nigga who shall not be named, but who likes the 45th president, who has all the amazing quotes and we can't use them anymore. Like, I yeah. would like to say we dope and we do dope shit. Yeah. But he's but yeah. ruined so, everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fucking dude. Uh, my random fact <laughs> <laughs> is that Erica don't fuck with birds. <laughs> <laughs> I hate birds, yo. I was, I was out with a dude the other day telling him the story how I was out, like how I was like damn near broke up with a boyfriend in college because this motherfucker was letting seagulls follow me on the Jersey Shore. I'm like walking around with a fucking hamburger, like get them the fuck away. And he was like, yo, you're holding a hamburger and fucking seagulls are following you. That's what the fuck they do. I don't mm-hmm. fuck with birds. You don't fuck with birds. We took the kids to the beach. <laughs> And they was hungry. And she was like, y'all got to get in this tent. <laughs> eat this shit quick as fuck. <laughs> like, I'm trying she to make them as I can. eat them damn sandwiches in like three minutes because she was scared of them damn seagulls. I don't fuck with birds. You don't and you never have. And it is fuck you. hilarious. Okay, so <laughs> this wraps up this, uh, Our this first episode quickie. of Quickie. So, yay. yay, 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 motherfuckers. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> so, Erica and Kenria, two, two hoes, hoes making, making it clap. clap. We hope you enjoyed this week's quickie. We're hard at work on season two of The Turn On, finding fantastic books to share and amazing experts to join us in the studio. And we're counting the days until we return on January 1st. In the meantime, Keep hitting us up at the turn on podcast at gmail.com with your book recommendations and burning sex and related questions. And follow us on Twitter at the turn on pod and Instagram at the turn on podcast so you don't miss a minute. And remember, the turn on is a part of the Frolic Podcast Network. You can find more podcasts you love at frolicmedia slash podcast. Thanks for listening and we'll see you soon.